Hi, I'm Nick Noel, the manager of the Student Media Center at the MSU Union. And today I'm going to show you how you, with just using a couple quick effects in Adobe Premiere or Final Cut Pro, as well as the green screen or chroma screen you see behind me, uh, can cause an object to either shrink or grow, hopefully like this robot's doing right next to me. You see it? It's pretty cool, right? Okay, let's go see how we did that. Okay. Um, so to get started, uh, as you can see, I've already imported my footage into my event here. Um, and then I've also set my in and out points. And if you aren't sure how to do that, you can check out our intro to Final Cut uh, video uh, that we've got posted on the website. Um, so once we've got our in and out points, I'm just going to drag this footage down into our project here. And here. So this footage is going to operate basically as the background, essentially, for this footage. Um, so you can see what I mean in a second, but basically you want to think about we're taking away the green background in this image, and we are replacing it with this. Um, and you'll, uh, that'll make more sense in a minute here. So first, we've got, we select this, we go over to Effects, it's just this button right here. Open that up, and then we're already on keying. But if you were on something else, you could just click on keying here and then grab this keyer effect and drag it over. So it's done a pretty good job of getting rid of all the green just without having to make that many adjustments. And if we go up here, uh, we can see in general um, any problem areas. So any of this black area is actually um, reflected green. So uh, when we did our lighting, uh, we should have been a little bit more careful because this turned, some of these more reflective areas turned a little green. But it's probably not going to be all that noticeable. Um, so we're just going to uh, use it for now. Um, and if we want to later, we can make some adjustments. Uh, but for now, we're just going to go with the basics here. So Clicking this, uh, click this viewer back on here so we can see what it looks like. Then we're just actually going to pull this up and bring it over to here. So keep in mind when you're using the green screen, whatever you want to keep the, sorry, when you're using the keyer effect, you want to keep the footage that has the effect on it above the footage you want to replace the background, that you want to replace the background. So if we did it this way, it now doesn't work. You can't even see it. So we want to keep this footage above here, and then we can make it a little shorter because we know it's not going to be longer than this clip. OK, so once we've got the footage uh, together, we now need to adjust this top footage so that it looks uh, like it's part of the background. And we do that basically just by using our transform ability. So we can do this by shrinking this down so that it looks like it's an actual size, it's actual size, and then just kind of moving it over to here. So I think that looks pretty good. Um, looks like it could potentially be actually part of this background shot. Um, once we've got that, we next need to adjust a couple other things on here to get this to work right. So you can see right here, this is the anchor point. So that's kind of where uh, the object moves from and where um, any effects will begin, or at least any of these effects that we're going to use. Um, so we want to adjust that because we don't want it to grow out from the center. We want it to grow out from the bottom uh, or else it'll start to overtake the table and it'll look weird. Uh, in fact, I'll just show you what I mean. So if I go to transform, I use this scale, which is what I'm uh, going to do to do this effect, then you can kind of see it's growing out from the center and it looks weird. So we need to move that anchor point. Down. And we don't want to use X, sorry. We're going to use the Y coordinates and just move that so that it starts at the feet. Then 
drag it back down so it looks like it's standing on the table. Okay, so once we have that adjusted, um, the next thing is to actually apply the effect. Okay, so I position where I want uh, this effect to start, and just to make things easier on myself, I'm actually going to use this blade tool and turn this one clip into two clips. So now I don't need to worry about accidentally causing it to grow or shrink uh, before I want it to, uh, because these two clips now act independently. So anything I do to this clip won't affect this clip. Okay, so I've got this selected, and I know where I want it to start. I come down to Transform, and I hit Add Keyframe. So now it's starting here. And then I move this to where I want it to end, and I just make an adjustment. So now it starts here and then goes here. And then I can do the same thing with a shrinking effect by having it start oh, just a little bit after. say there and then have it shrink down like that so now it starts to grow and then it starts to shrink and if I feel like it I can make it grow again so then we've got this kind of weird looking effect where it's growing shrinking so yeah, that's basically all you need to do. Um, if you have any uh, further questions, you can come and talk to us at the Media Center, um, and we hope to see you soon. Bye.